I'm Lene. Welcome to my channel, Fashionably 50 Something and Beyond. What I have for you today is a DIY tutorial. We are going to make a box for my Memdex card. Did you know that you can use the box from Dollar Tree to make a Memdex card holder? I have this box here that I bought from Dollar Tree. This box is four and a half inches wide and about a little under seven, three, six and three quarters inches long. So what we're gonna do is we are going to make this box into a Memdex holder. And the Memdex cards that I use are these. These are by Rolodex. And I use these when cutting out my notches. First, we're gonna start with these two pieces of paper that I have cut to be the same size as my Rolodex card. And what I'm gonna do is punch my holes I'm gonna just go a little bit. And then we'll go right here. And then down a little bit. Okay. Now I'm just going to take my scissors and I am going to cut my little template here. We're going to use two straws. These are just paper straws from Dollar Tree. I have an awl that we're going to use to punch our holes. I have my glue gun here and I also have some bows that I made. These I made on my Cricut. Uh, I just went to design space and searched for bows. Actually this is under dog bows. These are bows for little dogs. <laughs> but I use them to make paper bows. So what we're going to do first is take our box out of its lid and I am going to glue my template to the end of my box. So here we have the end of the box. And I'm just going to put my Memdex card in there like, like that. Make sure it's kind of centered there. And the nice thing about these boxes is they are decorated for you. Now you can do a little bit more decorating if you want, say um, decorate the inside, but I'm just going to um, use my templates and I'm not going to worry about decorating the, outs the inside of my box because no one's gonna see that. Okay, so we have our pink paper inside. I'm just going to trim it down. Okay, now we have our ends trimmed. So now I'm going to take my awl and I'm just gonna start punching a hole through here and I don't think it's gonna be too hard. So I'm just gonna drill that through there. I'm gonna make it big enough for a straw. And now I'll do the next one. Okay. All right. Now we'll do this side. So we have our holes drilled into our box. And now I'm going to take and measure my straw. First, let's measure our box. Our box is six and three quarters. I'm gonna cut this 
at around seven because I want it to make sure it's long enough. So we're gonna cut it right here. And then I'll take the other one and measure it with this one. Okay, so now we have our straws ready and we are going to stick them through our holes. And here we have Now the, the next one. Now I'm just going to try to kind of seal these with some glue. I'm gonna put some glue around here. And I'll put some glue around here. And then we'll add some glue at this end. is put our box into our lid because that glue then will kind of adhere it to the lid and we will have our holes covered by the lid of the box. And I'm just going to put a little bit more glue in there to kind of seal that. And now we will do the same with this side. We're just gonna stick some glue in here. And hold that tight. Okay, and here we have our little box. We'll get kind of get rid of our little glue strings, but I think it looks really pretty like this. However, we are not done. I made these bows on my Cricut, and we are going to place one at each end to kind of just cover up this area here, to cover that up. So I'm gonna put some glue on my bow. And then I'm going to take my bow, I'm going to place it in the center of my box, like that. Now you, if you don't have a Cricut to make bows, you can just buy a bow in the store. Just go ahead and buy a bow in the store. Here's how it looks on the end. And now we will glue the next one. Just get a good amount of glue on there. And here we will try to get it in the center of the box. And here we have our box for our Mendex cards. Now I'm gonna show you the Mendex cards that I made. Let's start with kind of the springy looking ones and move forward. So here is my first one. And for this, I used a sentimental, an inspirational kit from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so there we have our first one. Next, we will do this one, show kindness. And this is just a coaster uh, from Dollar Tree. And then I made these little tags to stick inside of the envelope just to, to give it some dimension um, in the top. I really don't plan on taking those tags out or using them. So I didn't put any kind of a hanger, but here we go. We can put our uh, Memdex cards on our little straws there. And now we'll move on to the butterflies. This butterfly is from Dollar Tree, came in a pack of two. And these are butterfly stickers I'm from Dollar Tree. I made this tag using an embellishment that I made as well as a Dollar Tree sticker. And we will go ahead and stick this one in our box. Okay, there we go. 
Now we'll see, uh, we are gonna work our way kind of into summer. And when I think of summer, I think of ice cream cones. So we have this Mendex card with a cassette and these ice cream cones from Dollar Tree. This uh, paper is from Hobby Lobby. It's from a Five Seasons pack. And um, I just mixed and matched. This is from my inspirational kit from Hobby Lobby. And we're just gonna stick this in here. I kind of want him to set like that. Some more summer, I have Aloha. And this is from this um, sticker and felt coaster, that's from Dollar Tree. And then I just made this tag, the best times, and we'll just stick that in our box. And then we have this one that says summer, and this one has a watermelon. And we'll stick that in our box. Then we have this flamingo. I think this is really cute. These are from Michael's um, Dollar Tree and then my tag that I made. I just cut a tag. I had a tag um, from some hand towels that I bought at Target and I used it as my template for my tag. So I just, I wanted something big and I wanted something and it was the perfect size. And here we have for the 4th of July, I made this rosette along with the tag and the envelope. And here we have it everyone. Here we have our box with our Memdex cards inside. And we can just flip through and look at our cards and they turned out so cute as did our box and it was so easy to make. Just so easy. Thank you for watching my video everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, what I'm going to do next is make a video on how to make these envelope um, Memdex cards. So that will be, you can watch that video to learn how to make these Memdex cards. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.